What's up guys? Today we've got a seven pound pork loin. We're gonna put on the pit. We're gonna get the old country gravity feed fired up. Probably be a little short cooked today. These things don't normally take very long. Uh, we're gonna get this thing unpackaged, cleaned up. Then we're going to season it with a little butcher barbecue grilling addiction and butcher barbecue premium rub. Then at the end, we're gonna make a kind of a little sauce that we're gonna baste it with right there at the end. See how it turns out. We'll see y'all at the pit. All right, guys, we got the old country gravity feed here. I did go ahead and load the shoot up with uh, lump charcoal. I'm using lump today. Give y'all just a little quick rundown of how I started up. Seems to work for me. Uh, I'm usually up to uh, cooking temperature 250, 275 within an hour. I leave my hopper door, chute door open. Smoke chamber door is open. I leave my firebox door open for about 10 or 15 minutes or till I, I see some good embers in there starting. Then I will put my, I run a fan and controller, so then I'll put my fan and controller on, let it uh, introduce air into the, into the fire, into the pit. I'll be up to operating cooking temperature 250, 275, no problem within an hour. So I'll show y'all the little torch that I've got, how I start it from the bottom and, and just let it go. I, I built a little ash pan for mine, so I'll take that out for the moment. This is the little torch that I use. I bought it off of Amazon. You can see it's like a, like a little miniature weed burner, I guess. But all I do, I just get me some good embers. I'll hold it here. Get me some good embers going for a few minutes. Then I'll just let it do its thing, leave the door open, leave the chute door open up top. Sometimes I do open the cook chamber door, give it good air. But as soon as I get some good embers here, I'll close it up, put my fan on, and um, let it come up to temp. But that's a, of course, I, I let it keep going until I get embers, but that's the short little process that I do to start it up. All right, let's go ahead and get this pork loin seasoned up. I did go ahead and take it out of the wrapper and I patted it dry with a paper towel. Let's go ahead and get the seasoning on it while the pit's coming up to temp. It still likes uh, about 50 degrees or so, it'll be ready. All right, so I use Worcestershire sauce as a binder. A little fat cap on the bottom. It's not bad though, it's not thick enough. I don't think I'm gonna trim any of it off. But let's go ahead and get a, get a little binder on there. Butcher Barbecue Grilling Addiction. Nice generous coat of that. Butcher Barbecue Premium Rub. Kind of, this is kind of a sweet rub, a little bit of sweetness, and then um, gets a really, really good barbecue flavor on the back end of this seasoning. If you haven't tried any of the Butcher Barbecue line of rubs, I would highly suggest it. They, uh, they are fantastic. Super nice guy, David Bosca, award-winning pit master. Now, presentation side. Hit it with a little Worcestershire. Grilling addiction. And again, Butcher Barbecue Premium Rub. Once we get this on the pit and get going, give it a little while, then we're going to uh, make a finishing sauce to put on it right there at the end. Baste it with it. All right. It's looking good right there. The pit should be up to temp. It likes about 30 degrees and it'll be good to go. So. We'll catch y'all at the pit in a minute and get this pork loin on. The pit's up to temp. Pork loin's been seasoned. It's rested for just a few minutes while we were waiting for the pit to come up to temp. We are uh, rolling smoke. Let's get this bad boy on. Got our pit temp probe right here. Got the ink bird. 
wireless thermometer. It is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's going to go right in here in this thick part. We're going to bring this up to uh, 145 on the internal. So I put a pan down here. I've got it's a 19 and a half by 11 and a half inch uh, pan. I've got a little little brick down here in the side, just a little thin. It kind of it almost brings it up level, like you could use it as a water pan. But I, I use it for more or less a drip pan. I'm gonna throw a little split in, and I just throw it down there under the uh, fire, under the coals, and uh, they kind of fall down on it, and it smolders and and produces smoke. So I'm gonna throw this pit in. I'm gonna throw this split in the pit and we're gonna roll some smoke just right in there in the bottom is all you need. Close it up, watch your wires. We'll see y'all in a couple hours. This shouldn't take long. I'm gonna take it to 145, 140, 145, probably 145 and then uh, we're gonna baste it. Put it on back on for about uh, 15 minutes just to set that sauce and uh, then we're gonna slice it and uh, Give it a taste test. We'll see y'all in a couple hours. All right, guys, I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. I did reposition the pit, moved it up here under the deck a little bit, but I just wanted to take just a second and show y'all this. This is the Inkbird thermometer that I'm using. I've had some Inkbird products in the past and some of them were good, some of them were not so good, but I, I feel like Inkbird has kind of stepped up their game here lately. This is the um, Inkbird IBT 26S 5G. Can do six probes. It is 2.4, 5G, or Wi-Fi. Six probes, you can do a pit probe and five other ones or however you see fit. It is magnetic. It charges uh, USB-C, but I just wanted to show y'all that for a second. I've had, there. there's the box. I've had, I've had pretty good results out of it. I got it off Amazon. Y'all check it out. So while we're waiting on the pork loin to come on up to temp, it's got a few more degrees going on. We're going to get us a sauce going on. Got the hot plate here. We're going to put it on there and let it blend together, I guess you could say, because um, some of the ingredients we're using here, it's just two simple ingredients, but one of them is rather thick. So we want to heat it up and uh, let them come together. So what we're using here, Old 41 barbecue sauce. This right here is from our buddy, Scott Chase. KZ106 Chattanooga, Tennessee. Y'all check him out. Our other ingredient of the sauce here, orange marmalade. It pairs very well with the old 41 barbecue sauce on a pork loin. It's good stuff. So what we're gonna do, the reason we heat it up, this marmalade, as you can see, has got a, got a thick, consistency to it. So we're just doing one pork loin. We're not going to do a whole, whole bunch of sauce. I've probably got, I've got about half a jar. There really is no um, measurement on this. This barbecue sauce is kind of thin, if you can see it. I'll kind of try to show it to you when I'm pouring it out here. Just give it a little bit. And what we're going to do, we're going to put it on the hot plate. I've just got this uh, medium heat. We're just going to give it a good, good mix and let it, let it come together. As you can see, when we put them both together. See if I can get y'all a shot of that. If you need it thinner, put you some more barbecue sauce. Of course, use the barbecue sauce of your choice. You know, it, 041 may not be available where you're at. If it's not, use your favorite barbecue sauce. No big deal. This has kind of got a, um, almost kind of a Worcestershire type smell flavor, but the, the orange marmalade really pairs well with it. So we're just gonna let this sit here and come up to temp, let it simmer for just a minute. You want a good consistency that um, that's gonna baste well. You don't want to have to really brush it hard on your pork loin. You don't want to brush your bark off. I believe that'll do well, but you don't want the sauce to run off either. So let's let that, let's let that come up to a simmer for a few minutes. Then we're going to, um, we're going to baste it on the pork loin. Let it set for a good 15 minutes on the pit. Let this sauce set up on the pork loin. Then she'll be ready to pull off. 
let it rest for a few minutes and then we're gonna slice it and taste it. All right, so our sauce has been going on the hot plate for a few minutes. Those flavors are good and, and married together. So we're gonna open it up, take a look. We're just gonna take this sauce. Just a light coating. Tell you what, I've got a little baster right here. Take that and just brush that on real good. Just like that, we're gonna put this back in the pit, let it go for about, about 15 minutes or so, and let that sauce set up good. Then it's gonna be ready to pull. Nothing to it, y'all. See y'all in a few minutes. All right, we've been resting about 10 to 15 minutes or so, and man, Look at this pork loin. You talking about good looking now. It smells fantastic, but let's cut into it. See what we got. One thing I want to point out, y'all look at this. Look at the juice running out of this pork loin. We took it to 145, sauced it, let it finish, put the sauce on it, 15 minutes back in the smoker, let it set up. I'm telling y'all, let's just, let's do it. Let's go right down the middle. <laughs> nice little smoke ring. Old Country Gravity Feed does it again. Let's get us a little slice here. Nice and tender. Give that a try. <laughs> That's good stuff right there now. That is good stuff. Lay that down. Let me get the cameraman a try that right there and let me t tell me what you think. That's good stuff. Come on. Hey, if y'all like these videos. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notifications bell while you're at it. We'll be sure to be doing more of them. See y'all on the next one.